Hi, I'm Todd Wente and this is the Daily 180, 180 seconds of motivation and inspiration intended to help you take action and improve your life. This is episode 211 of the Daily 180 and I know I look a little bit different and maybe I sound a little bit different because I'm a little out of breath, but that's because I have just taken part in a little bit of a challenge to set myself up for what I was talking about in episode 210, a 90-day transformation exercise. Um, and as part of that 90-day transformation exercise, looking in all the different areas, one area that I chose to focus on is my physical health, how I feel about myself. We were talking last time in episode 210 about setting a baseline, and today I did a couple of things that gave me a chance to set a baseline for where I feel in the aspect of physical fitness. Now there are lots of different areas, and we'll talk about some as we continue to go over the next several uh, installments, over the next several months of the Daily 180, but in this particular one, we're talking just about a baseline and just about how to set an idea, or an idea of how to set a baseline for a physical fitness aspect. When we talk about physical fitness, there are lots of ways that we can judge it. As I mentioned before, one of the ways that we can judge it is by body fat percentage. I don't necessarily go by weight because one person can feel like they are at a perfect weight and somebody else might look at them and say, wow, that's a little bit heavier than I would want to be. Body mass index can give us kinds of indications with that and generally they work around weight. But for me, body fat is a bigger indication for, of where I'm doing and how I'm doing with my physical health. This morning I took, a, I took a measurement on a scale that I own and I had a 17.7 .7 body fat percentage based on my weight. I would really like to get that down to about uh, a 15% body fat percentage first thing in the morning. And the reason that I say it first thing in the morning is because later on in the day, after I've eaten and gone through some, several t different kinds of activity, my body fat percentage shows lower. But I want to measure that at the same time every day and first thing in the morning, I'd kind of like to see it at a 15%. Now, another aspect of physical fitness is how well we perform physically, how well we can do things. I just got done doing one of my favorite baseline activities, and that is a two-minute drill. You pick an exercise, and you do it as long as you can, as many reps as you can for two minutes. The more aggressive the exercise, the better indication you have of your overall fitness. In my particular one, I chose burpees. Now, I know some of you are saying, number one, what is a burpee? And number two, why in the world would anybody do a two-minute drill on burpees? Well because it gives you a really good idea of where your fitness is. There were two aspects of the two-minute drill on burpees that were really important. One of them is how many burpees you can do, and the other one is how do you feel and how fast do you recover. I did 18 burpees in two minutes, and that was with two, two times where I had to take a breather, and I felt just terrible when it was over. So for me, 90 days from now, I'm going to do that two-minute drill again, and I'm going to see if I've done a few more, if I've been able to do it without taking breaks, and if I can feel a little bit different. That's how baselining works. We take a baseline now, a couple, of, a couple of objective measures, maybe a couple of subjective measures, and then 90 days out, we'll do it again. My name is Todd Winty. This has been The Daily 180. We've been talking about baselining. We'll talk about some more ideas. If you've got some ideas about baselining that work for you and that you'd like to share them, please leave them in the comments. In the meantime, give us a thumbs up, give us a share. Uh, if you really like what we're doing, give us a subscribe. We'd love to have you aboard for the ride. In the meantime, go forth and conquer. We'll see you next time.